Well, here we are with another Smokey Investment Team post-practice report, and uh, I'm going to do a, a little bit of a, a Coach Hankton uh, imitation. Uh, get your ass to the sideline. We ain't got no sandwiches, no turkey sandwiches, and no lemonade. We're here to work. And so uh, that was the kind of day it was today. And uh, beautiful skies. So so far, so far, we've had one ugly day, uh, but all the rest have been, it been great. But I will say the four periods that we got today, uh, the type of drills that we got might not have been uh, as good as some of the other days uh, But I think really what they're doing is they're getting some work in some light work in and full pads uh, before um, no, were, they, were they wearing pads on the, on the pants? No, yeah, they're full pads today. Okay. Um, I wasn't sure if they were wearing the compression pants um, Because they're gonna be getting after it Saturday and we're gonna be out there all day on Saturday. How you doing, buddy? Of course, this uh, report brought to you by the Smokey Investment Company in Alexandria, Louisiana. Couldn't do these reports without Tim Barton. His brother do a fantastic job. I know you're uh, very happy with their sponsorship. Beautiful afternoon. Wind blowing about 10 to 15 in full pads. And uh, I, uh, I got a chance to look at some overview. We'll give you some tidbits. As always, you were on one side of the field. I was on the other. We will be in Tiger Stadium at 11 o'clock. Uh, we'll go the full two hours with that scrimmage on Saturday and then uh, have a chance to talk to Coach Brian Kelly and four players. So all of that coming. And, Mike, I can't remember. I can't put a finger on how many years it's been since we've been in Tiger Stadium to watch a spring uh, scrimmage. I don't even know if we've ever had that kind of access. So we hope you're enjoying these reports, everybody. Yeah, Malik Neighbors uh, out there today. Uh, it, I mean, just – the whole group, uh, best neighbors, Brian Thomas, it looked like Chris Hilton was in street clothes and they were using him to catch balls with the quarterbacks. Don't know what the extent of his injury is, um, but uh, we do get Coach House. It's seven o'clock tonight, so we'll have that uh, full video for you after we had Denbrock uh, on Tuesday night. And then uh, on Saturday, we'll get Coach Kelly and, and four players, but um, a lot of, uh, I think it, a lot of it was just setup stuff. I was watching Denbrock with the tight ends, and he looked at me like he was really uh, getting after them on some technique on how to meet blocks on the on the edge. Uh, wide receivers, they were running through some drills where they would uh, drift them outside, and then they'd have to run through some uh, you know guys holding dummies that were trying to knock them out of bounds, and they were trying to you know teach them to stay in bounds and push their way back in and not let themselves get. Uh, uh, pushed outside and, and, and out of bounds. So uh, quarterbacks looked to me like they were just, uh, you know, running some drills, uh, throwing some over-the-shoulder fades. Uh, they were using the, uh, the uh, jug uh, basket. Uh, it's kind of like a defender that they had to throw over. Um, and uh, I think that was kind of it, really on the side that I was on. But I probably shot a good 14, 15 minutes of video. So we'll have all that for you on TigerBait.com later. Yeah, saw the quarterbacks today with some RPO action, the straight option. Obviously, this is something that Miles Brennan is going to have to get better at. We talk about it. He's been a statue in the, in the pocket before. Is he going to have better pocket presence? Is he going to make quicker decisions? Is he going to use that big arm? Of course, Jaden Daniels is a hell of a runner, but yet still needs to work on getting rather, uh, I guess, uh, acclimated with his receivers and throwing the deep ball a little bit better. Garrett Nussmeyer, we probably haven't talked about 13 enough, but a lot of people are talking about him having some good spring practices and certainly uh, making a nice right. account of himself. And then Walker Howard, as we know, has had his moments, and uh, he'll get bigger and stronger, and, and this will be a great year for him. Uh, Depth at corner, still a problem. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. But that defense, and I hope you get a chance to ask uh, Coach House, can you expect to get pressure with that front four? As we know, uh, LSU uh, had 38 sacks as a team, and they gave up 38. But is he going to send the kitchen sink? How much blitzing? How much aggressive? But that front four, man with Ali Gay, Jaqueline Roy, Mason Smith, and, and obviously uh, B.J. Ojolari, along with those backups with Tank Gilry and Miki uh, 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 Wingo, and, and obviously Savion Jones. I mean, they're too deep. They've got excellent depth in some spots. Oh, by the way, in case you missed it, Nick Storrs back out here for the first time. Former baseball player, was on the football team, giving them a little depth uh, where number we figured, four. We, we figured something was up because it was a, a little over a week ago we were watching him uh, standing out on the field with the tight ends 
observing drills. And they wouldn't just be doing that just to let him come out here and observe and stand out there. If they let him come to practice, he'd be on the sideline with us. But the fact that he was involved and, in, 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 you know, he's probably been in on meetings and everything else. So, uh, you know, they're needing help at tight end. And uh, they, like you said, they brought him out here. Uh, this is an analysis practice report brought to you by the Smokey Investment Team. Over 45 years of combined experience in handling their clients' financial needs. And this in financial environment, experience does matter. Call Bart or Brian Smokey at 318-448-3201, 318-448-3201 in Alexandria. Anything uh, involving investments, any financial uh, dealings that you have uh, questions about, give them a call anywhere in the state of Louisiana. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member FINRA slash SIPC. I know a lot of guys will give you some updates later on in the night. Did not see Demario Tolan. Once again, Mike Jones, Greg Penn. Of course, Jones uh, uh, has had a really good camp, and he's going to play a lot in special teams. Greg Penn has really asserted himself, backup middle linebackers. Jared Small, a guy that was leading that battle until he got hurt last uh, year. Wes Weeks is a guy that came over, number 33. You'll see him. Did see Micah Baskerville still running with the threes. Jordan Tolles, I saw him practice the whole time at corner. And so, uh, as we know, 26 and 21 and all these other guys, we're still waiting to see what they're going to happen with the Ohio State cornerback. But uh, as we've been telling you, uh, tight end and corner are two neat areas. Watching that O-line, good to see Marlon Martinez out there a little bit more. He's been banged up a little bit. Didn't see Garrett Dellinger. I said it last night on the show. You get Martinez, Garrett Dellinger, and Emory Jones coming in here. Now Brad Davis has got three more big bodies to work in. I think they're going to be okay at the offensive line spot, Mike. Yeah, I, I do too. I, I, you know, I, I said it last night on our show. I, I put a poll up on the site. And, you know, which, which position worries you the most for the fans? And we had tight end, offensive line, cornerback, and safety listed. And the last I looked, cornerback was running away with it. And I think safety was second, or maybe tight end was second. But offensive line was in, in, in uh, it was the fourth option in last place, I think. And and I agree with that. I think the offensive line's coming to be, uh, coming together. I think there's still some more pieces. Emory Jones, like you said, uh, will be here in the summer. And that and I, I think that unit's getting better. But uh, knock on wood, not knowing with uh, Chris Hilton, he looked fine out there. I, you know, maybe just a little uh, bruise or something. Um, but so far, knock on wood, no catastrophic injuries through spring football. Yeah, of course, Jamar, uh, Jared Bernard Converse, uh, as we know, with the foot, and they already took care of that. They expect him back there in June. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, it, it's work, folks. It's uh, This is not play, as you mentioned with Hankton. Good to see him show some Louisiana roots as he's coaching with food analogies. You know I got to like that. That all being said, I think what I'm seeing now after we've been out here nine or ten times is that LSU is going to be really good with their starters. They are good with that first-team defense and that first-team offense. But then you get into backups. Then you get into injuries. Then you get into – look, if you can get 50 to 55 on Saturday, you're okay. But uh, you got to develop depth. And I know that uh, Coach House and Coach uh, Denbrock and Kelly and everybody – working hard to develop depth uh, and uh, you know we've had this discussion and we had it last night how are you going to massage all four quarterbacks to keep them invested and I'm going to look dumb when somebody leaves but if you've only got 30 well, percent of the of the offense installed this is not a finished product and I think they're going to try to keep all of them because of that thing. but you addressed it early on in this video Garrett Nussmeyer people sleeping on him just thinking he's you know, kind of like the middle child, right? He's like the middle child. That's that's the analogy of him. You got the two older guys, Nussmeyer, and then the, the hot shot Walker Howard right behind him. And Nussmeyer's the guy that, you know, he's and people are sleeping on him. And is that going to be a mistake? Because because uh, there's been some good buzz about Garrett. But but my whole point in all of this is is that what have you done for me lately? This is going to be interesting. And of course, on Saturday. Well, ask the question, are you going to go ones against twos in the spring game? And how, frankly, do you expect to keep all of these quarterbacks involved? But look, there's a lot of battles, man. We talked about getting loaded, uh, you know, at, at the local bars around here. LSU is loaded at safety when you talk about 12, 13, and 5 starting. Of course, that's Brooks, uh, Fouché, and uh, Jay Ward. 
Uh, watch some of the reps, man. You still got Derek Davis. You still got Sage Ryan. You got Matthew Langlois. Oh, by the way, Major Burns, Derek Davis, they got safeties coming out the yin yang. Got to get some corners. That's going to be a need. Got to have a, another tight end or two. But right now, I'm seeing LSU looks pretty good. They're not ready to play a game, but develop in depth. Can you get, and in championship games, Mike, we were out here, we saw it. They had three excellent players, basically, across the board. That's what I was saying. And one of the guys at YouTube said, oh, buddy, we always compete against Georgia and Alabama. Well, guess what, brother? They're not even close to Alabama and, and Georgia as far as depth goes. You are learning to walk right now. How fast they run is going to be determined. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have a spring game where it's going to be like you got, got the answer out of him on Saturday. And even though he says he hasn't confirmed it or – Solidified it. I do believe it's going to be offense defense. They just they don't have the numbers to go, uh, you know, split it up into true teams and do a little draft or whatever unique things they like to do uh, in, a, in a Kelly program. But that's not saying they can't get the depth they need. Right. It's going to take by, time. By fall camp. So uh, uh, we'll we'll see if that all evolves. But uh, really uh, appreciate the access. Appreciate the weather. And good job with you uh, on uh, Tuesday coming out here in the quagmire. All right, guys, uh, we got the Hells Angels pulling up, uh, so that's our cue. Go to Tiger Bay, subscribe, and uh, by the way, the recruiting stuff is flying. Going to have a commitment tomorrow morning, 8.30, and you got two five-stars coming for the spring game yeah. next week. Go to TigerBay.com. I got some tidbits there, and I think I have some more coming your way this, uh, later tonight once I get back. Uh, and you're going to want to see the video we shot from practice today. So go to Tiger Bay, subscribe. You can get on the site for $1, and uh, on the back side of it, choose the annual uh you save uh, you're, you're getting three months free when you choose the annual all right guys we'll uh be back out here saturday with another report a lot of video uh matt house full uh, press conference will be up uh this evening as well and uh, a lot more a lot of recruiting uh rolling out on our tiger den premium message board you're going to want to get over there and check that out and when you subscribe get the text alerts because we're going to send the breaking news direct to your cell phone so that way if you're in a meeting or, or uh, in, in so, uh, heavy workload, all you gotta do is look at your phone and you got the news when it happens. All right, guys, talk to you later.